Hello again, it's me, Milton, Little Melto Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to work your clutch or your torque settings on your drill or combi drill or whatever it is you've got that you put screws in that's got a clutch or a thing for setting torque settings. They're actually called a clutch but a lot of us just call them torque settings which is another name for them. Okay then, so how do we do it? First of all, we're going to have a little experiment. We've got to do things in reverse. And this is how I found out how we have to set the torque settings. First of all, go to drill mode, have a practice. We're on drill mode, we're on speed one. Now we are, right. We take any screw we want. This is a five by 50, right? This is for experiments, right? Go in nice and gently, slowly. Put the screw level with the wood, right? Same again, put three in. I think I hit a knot with that one, right? Now, a professional will not bury the screws in the wood. He'll always set them flush. They usually use the torch settings. And as you can see, I'm not burying these screws. I'm taking my time. There we go. These uh, new drills we've got nowadays have got a lot more power. Even for the people that have DIY drills, they have a lot of power as well. So what do we do now? We're still on speed one, we leave it. Because that is supposed to be the best mode for screwing. Because that's where you get most of your power. Screws take a lot of putting in because of the friction of the wood. Although these screws that I'm using here have a lot of fancy dancy bits on them, like double cutting points on them, three teeth, Riemann bits and a double countersink head. Now, you got your torque setting one, right? You go into reverse, okay? And you put this on here. Yes, you're right, you ain't gonna take it off, we know that. Right, so I'm gonna take it off. So, why, do, why am I doing this? Another reason is for this, this is how I learned very quickly. If that screw's been in wood, that's been outside, it could be seized in there. And you go in there and grab it and turn it without any torque settings being activated on your drill. What will happen is you'll end up rounding the head off or breaking the bit. Breaking the bit's all right because you just replace it. But if you round that screw head off, you're going to have fun getting that out of there. And as I say, this is how I found how we have to set the torque settings up. Right. So what we'll do is we'll move it up to four. See? I think they'll do it. Right. So we'll go up on A, what was four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll take it up to eight. We'll see what we get. Nope, still not doing it. Right, ten. There we go. Right, it took that. It actually came undone. And I'll bring the camera in and I'll show you on the next one. It actually doing that, but not that one. I think it had no. I'll do it on that one. Right? So if your screw has been in there for a long time, right, what will happen is you could have actually damaged the head and you ain't getting it out. And as I said, snap the bit. So this way you have a chance of getting the screw out by using the clutch system is like a mini impact sort of idea, how it slips over the top. And I wasn't pulling the trigger too hard there either, right? Right, okay then, we've got that one out. So I'll show you this one coming out. This one could be a bit of fun. I think it had not. Oh, okay then. Right, let's see how easy that came out. Right, let's see if we can get this one out. Yeah, I was right here, not. See? So we're gonna have to turn this up now. We're now on this one according to this at 12 now. Okay, you fall on the floor. Right, that's what you get when you hit a knot. Wow. Full torch sentence. Right, I'm going to turn this up like a second then. See if we can get it on a second. YouTube always fails. This is 
体<laughs> and you seen me slipping yeah and that wasn't definitely rehearsed now that screw head's had it now the other one's really had it that was a drill bit the screw bit perfect now do you see how hard things can get at times right so we go back down to what we were originally on which is about 10 and now, what happens if we try putting them in on 10? Now, where's that goose one? The one I just goosed. There's a head on it, had it? Yep. Right, give it that one. Now, so what happens if we try putting them in? Oh, and I'll go back on a first speed, right? Okay. It'll stall out, don't worry. Yeah, I could do a bit more up on that, right? So I'm going to move that up to 12 now, right, there we go, right, I'll put one more in just to make sure that we're right and I'll bring you in for a closer look. Now, that's about perfect, oh stop shining the light on I'll bring you in now. Now, try watching the end of the actual drill. Right, what I'm actually doing there is, I'll do one more to show you, I'm actually using the slip system, so it actually pushes it in that little bit, I'll try and do it a bit better. I just need one more, I'll give it one more. There we go, done. Right, and just to be safe, I'll show you one more going in, just to make sure, watch this, I'll split the end. Right. In there, nice and safe. Okay then, let's just go back down to 10 and take these screws out, because we want to keep them. So what happens if we use a bigger screw? Okay then. See? See how easy these are coming out? No problem at all. You see how I didn't bury them? Right. Because it's only the amateurs that actually do it. Professionals will not do it. Okay then, I'll just turn this wood round. Well, then. Now, these next screws are 5 by 50. Right, we're still on torque set in 10. Right, we're still in first speed. So let's go and put these in and see how these go in. Okay. You see? It wants to be a little bit more. I'm just going to take it up again after I think I did, did, did before take it up. Right? Just to show you. I'm going to put some more in. And these are 5 by 70, remember? That one might be a bit of a pig to come out. Now, I still reckon up one more. So I've moved it up by 2 from the 10 that was originally on. Alright? Let's put one more in and see how we get on. Oh, too much. See? Get that one back out. Alright. Ah, see? Now this is what happens when you hit soft wood. Obviously that's a soft bit of wood. You gotta watch for that. Yeah. It's actually pushing this, the, this one down because the wood's soft. But this is what happens in wood. You see what happened when I hit a knot? Couldn't get the damn screw back out. Now we're going into softer wood, you see? So really and truly, we'll just take it back again then and see what happens. Right? Got this mix, perfect. There it is, doing it now. Can I get this one out? Well, it's slipping. I'll just go in here now. There you go. Crack the wood on the other side. That's because I've got too many screws together. But now you can see what happens as well. If you start pushing the, the clutch or the torque settings too much, what happens? 
you hit a soft piece of wood and what happens, it starts burying them underneath. So you've got to get that balance just right. This is what I mean, you should practice first with this. Okay then. Now, I'm just gonna put one of these in here, which is five by 100, still on the same torque settings, and let's see what happens. All right, we'll come in about here. No problem. So it just goes to show how easy setting up your torque settings can actually be. What you're actually doing is, and I'll try and explain this, you're, an impact works completely different, but you're using the slippage on the clutch like a little bit of hammer action just to finish the job off. You just got to get the screw there. Now, before we move to the next bit, that's how the professionals will probably tell you how to set them up in first gear. Nowadays, these things have got that much power nowadays. Really and truly, you could do this at second speed. So, okay then, let's now go away and see what happens if we try putting 70s in on second speed. I'll just get these screws out first, okay? Okay then, 5 by 70 clicked up on a second speed, right? So we're now going to try this and see what happens when we go in at full speed. The one thing I will not be doing is giving it full speed on the trigger going in. I'm not going to pull the trigger flat out, right? A lot of people seem to think I do that. I don't. I'm just going in faster. I'll watch. Right? Makes a lot more noise, but it moves the screw. I'll do one more and then I'll bring it in for a closer look. Right? Now, hit a knot there, so I stopped it. YouTube again, always happens. There you go, done. And you can hear how I'm feathering the trigger as well. Like that, see? That's how easy you can drive the screws in. with the torque settings, no problem at all. Of course, when you get things like this, there's not a lot you can do with it. You either take it out, if it'll come out, yeah. you don't bother putting a screw in, or you might find you end up actually playing with the torque settings and try to ram it in that way, uh, which you might be better off just putting it on drill mode and back up your speed one and push it in. Now you've seen just how easy that was to put them in there, right? I'll grab one of these hundreds and I'll try it with this one as well. I think I probably might have to readjust the torque settings, but we'll wait and see. But what I will show you what will happen if you pull the trigger full, full speed to see what happens. Right? Watch. Well, <laughs> yeah, and actually I thought I might have activated the torque settings when I pulled it full speed and I got a bit of a fright myself. I'll do it correctly this time. Okay. And we go. There we go. Empty place, no problem at all. And there, 100 mil. All right. And as I see, the torque setting is actually on 11 on this one. Each drill is different, though. Don't go off what I'm doing with this with my torque settings, because your drill driver, combi, screwdriver, whatever it is you're using, will be different. And of course, taking the screws out should be no problem at all. There we go. No problem, you can see that now. Oh. Whoops, a bit too that there. Do you get for showing off? That's all I'm doing, just, just showing off. Right. So, what's next then? Right, okay then. This piece of wood with some uh, little drill things that I was doing earlier on practicing with. We're going to cover them over with this piece of wood here, right? Just to actually say, well, we actually did something. It's okay sticking uh, screws into bits of wood and saying, oh, well, it does this and does that. I think you want to see it. Right, I've turned it back down to 10. Might be a bad idea, but a good idea, I don't know. But I'm still on speed two. Just to show you the controllability. And I am not pulling the trigger at full speed on this. I'm just speeding up to how I feel comfortable with. Right? So we'll go in here. Right? Must be two. Yeah, we are. 
Yeah. So I'm in place. All right, this one here. Yeah, any place. There you are. And I'll show you the end result on that one. Nice and neatly and flushed off. Not buried, not nothing. I didn't split the wood. Nutty thing. Done perfect. And we'll try one. Near the knot up here and we'll see how we get on with that one. Okay. Watch this. Disaster. Hey, why not? Can't always go right. It's YouTube. Right. Here we go. We're near the knot. Right. We've no option. We have to go in. Let's go. The knot is definitely putting up a bit of resistance there. So we'll just cheat, we'll give it two more and see what we get. Nah, ain't gonna do it. Nah, that's it, it ain't gonna go flush. The only way, other way to do that is take it out, give it a little bit of a countersink, or we could oops, clean it up away a bit, blow it a bit, and hopefully this will do it. Yeah, it did. We flushed it that way. But by doing that, you could risk splitting something. If it had, well, then it would have split, but it didn't. I got away with it. So, there you are then. Now, hopefully, I've explained everything here, right? As I said, practice. Just go away, get a bit of wood, put some screws in it, and learn. You see? Now, as I said, the professionals will tell you to do this on speed one. But with these new drills nowadays, they're getting so powerful, Speed 2 works. And I find Speed 2 with this system actually does work better. You get a bit faster, you can get things moving, and if you've got the settings just correct, right, it'll work almost every time. As you've seen though, it happened to me, I found a soft bit in the wood. And what happens? Because I turned the top settings up thinking I was going to get away with it, they started pushing them in a little bit too far and I had to bring them back down. So even I got caught out. But trust me when I say this, professionals do not bury screws in wood. Right? They'll always set them flush. Okay then, my name is Milton, Charles Coddle at Milton. Subscribe if you want, thumbs up, thumbs down. It's up to you, I'm easy going. Okay then, bye now and I'll see you the next time.